All right, so uh, we're going to do another medieval combat video review. This is another group review. So we got a group of people here. I don't think many of us are any of us are ACL or HMB fighters. So we're sort of speaking from a little bit of a position of ignorance, but we'll do our best. This was uh, a special request for us to review. And uh, next time we do a group review, if there's any ACL or HMB folks that would like to come join us, we would welcome your experience and expertise. Um, that said, this is from, uh, according to the video, the New World Cup Finals in 2017. And as you can see on the left is Omer, and on the right is Nelson. And this is Longsword. So I believe this is the finals, if I'm not mistaken. Um, for anyone who's curious, uh, the rules are available on the ACL website, but... The short version is it's counted blows and judges are determining whether a blow is good or not. And I'm not 100% certain, but I believe it's done in rounds. So someone takes a round or doesn't. I don't know that the counted blows, if you end up with 13 to 22, I think you start at 0, zero the next round. But I'm not completely certain. Yeah, that's what I think it is. So let's take a look and we'll just go through the first round and uh, we'll see what there is to see and offer what feedback we can. Uh, the other thing is there's no stabbing in this. So this is Omer. There is tripping and tackling. There is tripping, there is tackling. Um, there's a few blows that are illegal. Like, I believe you're not allowed to strike the back of your opponent's knees, you're not allowed to strike the back of the neck, and you're not allowed to aim for the groin. And then, of course, because it is, it is judged blows, uh, don't worry, the camera angle does get better, but because it is judged blows, you need, you need to throw shots that look good as well as land hard. a nice yeah. shot off the top of the head, yeah. Nice body shot there as well from Omer. Um, the other thing is, because this is going to go many rounds, endurance is a really Ooh. big deal. That was a nice strike really across the back as you're spinning. That's, you spin, you get hit in the back. That's a tough lesson. Nice shot to the arm there. Good hanging guard, too. I will admit, being able to play heavy metal while doing medieval fighting is really tempting. There's that same spin away. I think that's, you know, when you end up in that hanging guard, maybe that's just a good way to get out. Nice leg shot there. Okay, so end of the first round. Uh, I wasn't keeping count. I don't know what I would judge um, as, the, as the best blows there. But let's take a look at a couple of the cool exchanges. Obviously, we're not going to be able to go blow by blow because there's so many blows thrown, right? Um, but, for instance, right here, I thought this was a pretty cool exchange. What do you guys think? I think this is a combo. So, block, boom, block. And that's almost something that you train, right? They're transitioning from, I bet, if we had a really good HEMA person here, they would know the Italian, like, names. Real loud. This means high, this means left, this means right. Um, but... You can see that these are well-practiced attacks and defenses, right? So you see that Omer's got his sword across his body, right? And uh, Nelson throws right into that guard, goes into sort of a hanging defense, and then allows, uh, allows the blade to rotate this way back. So he hangs the tip down, deflects the blow low, and then comes back for the overhead. At this point, Nelson's got to, instead of being able to do a circular motion to block, has to move both of his hands across his body to make the block. And it looks like he probably catches that with the keons, right? Mm -hmm. Doesn't take it in the hands, which is nice. I think a hand shot would count as a blow if it was witnessed, right? Yeah. And oh. then uh, there's the hanging guard on the other side. That's flat. That's flat. Yeah, it looks it's like it's... flat, yeah. Well... I don't, think they, I don't think there's any landed blow here. No, there isn't. And then this counter misses. But it's a really cool exchange. It's that onside, offside, onside, offside. Yeah. So if we move into the, uh, let's see if there was another neat exchange. So there's that exchange we just saw there. I think there was a leg shot there. Yeah. I think that I think it missed, but I'm not it sure. Did it? Yeah, because you see it hit the dirt, and then this shot looks like it hits the knee nicely. So there's the leg. Then he recovers. Then the overhead right into the neck. Yeah. Right. Okay. Now this is a second. This is a place where it'd be really nice to have someone who knows ACL judges. This second blow to the body or, or leg doesn't have a lot of wind up. It, the sword doesn't travel through the air very far. So would this second blow count? Watch it in slow motion. You can see one, two, right there, and the block up in time. And it might have also been after the buzzer, but I'm not sure if that second shot, you know, really tells super cleanly. So. 
I don't know a ton about the between rounds strategy either, but obviously getting oxygen into the helmet and getting all the carbon dioxide out is really important, so it's nice to have a flip-top lid. I have to wonder if sort of like boxing, there's motivation in the middle of that as well as yeah. making sure someone's pupils are still... Yeah, like, no concussions. Oh, there's, a a punch. Punch. <laughs> there's a good right cross punch. And you'll notice, I mean, to me I see a lot of openings for the thrust, but in this sport thrusting is not legal, right? So yeah. you don't need to defend against it. So what seems to be surprising, I guess, maybe not... Is, is that punch again? Is everyone keeps a very low guard with the hands? I think yeah. you have to to conserve energy in this. I, I think if you were holding that weight out there and up too long, it would have worked. When when you say a low guard, do you mean as as opposed to the so other? You um, see how Omar starts raising up in the, the kind of high guard yeah. as we were seeing the SCA more. But yeah, I mean for the most part, they're all they're staying pretty low, which I don't know if that is just because of energy or speed well some of it is that you don't need to land the blow super hard so let, yeah. let's see if we can find a spot where we can show some of the traditional guards um, that you would see in WMA these guys are also pretty close to range most of the time because they're trying to score points but if we see so if you see him step well let, let's go back more. to the beginning of the round and we'll go through here and maybe we can pick up that punch see how Omer all of a sudden pops up yeah right you see the hands come here the higher guard yeah But you can't live there, not with that much weight. No, yeah, that will Well, and I think it, it sort of depends, right? There's there's good power blows that you can land from there. Let's see if we can get, a, like, a full-body shot and we can draw the sort of different sword guards that are typical. You can see this blow lands a little bit flat as it's rolling, and I think he's trying to pull the hand back to block the face. Here they're going to end up in that high cross, I think, after this. Nice double tap. Yeah, and good blocking there as well. Good shot to the arm. And here's where we see... That hand come off, and if you're a boxer, you see this opening right here, right? Right between the arms. Pow. Now that, I don't think, gives you points, but if you can follow it up with a good sword chop, or if you've just jogged your opponent, I, I believe you can win by submission in singles as well. Um, it's just not very common. Huh. Yeah, but you followed up with a sword chop. He did, yeah. yeah. So if we look at... Um, it's probably to create the space. Uh, let's see if we can get a, a good spot. I'm not actually seeing, because the camera is so tight on this particular video, there's not a good spot to necessarily draw the different guards um, that you might see in WMA. So let's we can pause in the middle of the next round if we see the opportunity. So let's move on to the third round. All right, so here in the third Not round... So oh, it looks like it's actually two rounds before they declare the victor in this case. Hey. All right. And, of course, some good good spirit shared there. So um, if we go back and I try to find a spot where you might talk about the different sword guards, this is actually one of the standard sword guards that you might be using, right, with a sword in this position. So, you know, we see in a lot of HEMA and WMA treaties is different sword guards. So you, you were talking, uh, Rowan, about how, you know, everyone's got this low guard. There's another high guard where the blade might be held up here. Um there's a guard where you would have the tip of the sword back and the hands here. Uh, there's even one where you would have a high guard here with the arms crossed on the opposite side of the head, right? Yeah. But I think this position is is the one that they're they're going to because, as you said, you're really exhausted. You're throwing a lot of blows consecutively, and none of them really need power because it's all about um, it's all about landing blows that the judges are going to see. So. I don't know. Because we... it's, cause it's uh, judged. Exactly, it is judged, not, yeah. It's like a karate tournament. Exactly. <laughs> so let's move on and we'll take a look at the next set of fights. Uh, do, they, do they go by point? Usually point to the red, point to white. I think what it is is count of blows per round. Uh, okay. Right, so... One for red, one for white. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah, and then at the end of the round, I think there's a, a victor judge, and it's probably two out of three. So if you take two rounds, I'm not 100% sure. Um, next up, we've got, uh, I believe this is Brendan Knight versus Friedel. Uh, so this is obviously a, a buckler and sword tournament. And I think Brendan's on the left. Uh, so Knight is on the left, Friedel's on the right. Not 
not the heavy metal song I would have chosen. There's a nice buckler punch. Again, I don't think those count for points. So if the judges oh, don't see nice it, that happened. Buckler punch? <laughs> yeah, I mean, buckler, a, a strike with a buckler is perfectly allowed. Um, but yeah, I don't think it scores you points like a, uh, a blow with a sword. You see that really active footwork from Brendan, I think. Friedel's using his height a little bit more, it looks like to me. So it also looks like the knight's fighting his armor. Uh, might be so. What makes you say that? Well, so watch one of the blows. You see him shake his head to try to get the helmet of ah. back in alignment. Sorry, I fast-forwarded way too... or rewound way too far. <laughs> so this kind of goes back to making sure, you know, you're padded well. There's a nice so, shot yeah. offside right to the helm. Did it? I thought it... It looked like it landed to me. Yeah, it, it looked, looked like it was clean to the side of the helm. See, Brandon's got Knight's got really nice light footwork. Face. Yeah, it looks like Friedel's got the really accurate offsides. He's comfortable throwing them a lot, and they probably are really clear to judges, right? Leg shot. That looks like it picked up on the buckler. That buckler oh. punch actually looked like a block as well as a punch, which is really nice. So it's well, not really about strength at all. Not really about uh, hitting hard at all. It's about just. Well, you 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 don't transfer power. I mean, when you have a. Um, uh, a, a stick, you, you're transferring a lot of the mass and force. This you have, to, you're concentrating that mass into, into a point, into uh, a yeah, you know, a fine tip. But what? But 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 the judges aren't judging how hard it hits, right? They're just judging that it hits. Yeah, right. right. I yeah. I think yeah. I think you're right. So it looks like maybe his his chin strap or his helmet lining isn't keeping his vision in place. Or yeah, yeah you see it there as well. That's a that's actually a really keen observation. Yep, wow. Um, uh, as for what judges count, a nice rap. I don't know for sure what judges count. Um, it needs to be visible enough to be seen clearly, and I think a more powerful landing shot is more likely to be seen. Mm -hmm. okay. um, and I, I'm not 100% sure. Yeah, like if a shot moves your head, then they're going to more likely to notice. Hey, his head just shoot to the side. But you're potentially overcommitted in that position yeah, as well. True. And I, I think, I'm not mistaken, but I believe you can get a submission victory in duels. It's pretty unlikely that you're going to get someone that hard and clean that they just give up, but it might happen. Can you rewind for a sec? Sure. It looks like he threw an elbow. Uh, he might have. So, right there. Okay, so let's go back just a little bit so and we'll throws, watch it in slow motion. Throws ahead. So he throws that deep wrap to the body. To the body and then now he's, he follows in, and, and Knight's not able to get his sword recovered. I think he's got the sword trapped against his own body with yeah. that left arm, right? And now... Oh, that's a pummel strike. Oh, a yeah, pummel, pummel strike. Okay. So he's going here, and he drops that down. It looks like you can also see... This is on a forward step, and you see the his spine drop as well. So it looks like he's getting a lot of power in there. The, the head doesn't move a lot. Um, but yeah, nice pummel strike. Well, I think it hit a little bit obliquely. A little and, obliquely, yeah. And it's a, a, on the top side of the helm. If that had been into the face, that would have uh, had a, a lot um, more impact. I think you're right about that. And here, I think that's the fourth time we've seen Friedel throw this deep, high wrap. Um, you see him step in, because he's got the height advantage as uh, well. Right here. He steps in. Nice gather steps and throws. And you can see... He's got that forward motion and up. He's trying to get up and over. Now, at this point, Knight's backed out, so I don't know that that would have scored a point, but you can see he's pretty comfortable throwing that sort of lunging wrap. Yeah. So watch the, watch Knight. Mm -hmm. Now, I thought he, they didn't... As he steps, he keeps that, that buckler low. Mm. Friel keeps it fairly consistent at a, at a higher level. So, so clarification... And Knight clarif wins clarification on the rules um does uh are is the but does the back of the blade or the false edge count, shot count i believe so i'm not 100 percent certain but i believe so yeah okay. um because there are single edge swords and the, uh, there are falchions and sam shears and stuff like that which can have a lot more power when they land and stuff so i'm pretty sure the false edge counts um and friedel obviously knows what he's doing and he's throwing the false edge a lot so i've got to assume it does all right um let's take a look at one more bout we don't get to see the wings, huh? Uh, yeah, that, uh, a knight won that one, yeah. Okay. So these are, uh, these are glaives. Oh, whippy. Nice. 
Really nice face shot there. Now, obviously, they're not allowed to stab with these. So we got, uh, they're in pretty similar colors, but uh, Rorik is on the right right now. And he's got, you can sort of tell him by the red creases. Uh, Nelson's the one wearing the bright white belt. Nice butt stroke there and a shoulder strike. Big wind up. You can tell these yeah. guys, instead of just getting something light enough to count for a point, you can tell they're, they either think the judges are going to require a hard hit to count as a point, or they're going for the submission hit. Yeah, because there'd be no way you'd power up for that if you didn't have to. Right? Yeah, so like that shot there, Simon's throwing for points. Uh, Rorik, uh, right Ooh, into the neck. That's, that's a, a nice one. one. That was a nice Okay, and then you get the round for a breather. It looks like, what, 60 second rounds probably? It's like, you're so pro, you're doing such a better <laughs> job than us. <laughs> And you can see they're both fighting left-handed. Nice strike to the shoulder. I think that landed flat, though. Might be. It says it's counted strikes. It strikes one point. This song's one point. Falls one point. Yeah, that makes sense. Ooh. Oh, Ooh, nice. I think that was butt. Uh, no, no, like that half. was the back edge. Was it, was was it back the edge? Blade, okay. blade, yeah. but, but it may have been half. It looked like it... Because it, it... It's still a nice move. Yeah. yeah, really nice move. There was a nice face nice. strike there. Very precise. I love their helmets. Yeah, those helmets are tough to breathe in, too. There's another accurate face strike from Nelson. Another one just, yeah. So it looks like the hand switch there for a little while. Now he's now Nelson's gone to fighting right-handed, so totally different angles. I think you're out of breath. Yeah, you can see they're both a little tired. They're definitely scoring points. I think this one's a little easier to judge. So let's go back and take a look at the beginning of that round because we saw some pretty cool stuff. Try not to overdo the rewind. So Rourke is in the red... Rourke's got the red cuises, uh, the red thigh armor. So there's that shot that we thought, yeah, it might yeah. be flat to the shoulder perhaps. Um, tough, and you got to admit, being a judge I think would be yeah, pretty tough because yeah, you're looking at things... Been telling if it's flat or not. No instant replay. But, but there, it does make a different sound. You can hear it. Yeah, because it's hear... the clunk or a slank. Yeah. Like a spring is like whack. So here you see a nice double pump uh, before throwing that shot. Here's a, a pretty nice shot to the head. You can see that here, Rorik's blade, or his haft, has managed to both offer uh, the attack on offense, but also because he's got it across his body, it provides the defense on that shot as well. And then there's that circular stroke we yeah, see. That was, that was totally blade. So, I mean, obviously it looks like they're sort of open to the thrust, but they're not allowed to thrust. So you see this tip circle down around this way and then back up to strike. Looks like no threat. And then look at, look at how uh, chambered up. The hips can rotate this way. The knees can rotate this way. And then you get that real sharp stroke, and it does look like it's really accurate with the head of the weapon right on the back of the head. That, that's probably my move of the fight. <laughs> Alright, and I don't know if we see a third round from this one. Um, just moving back forward through the fight again. And these guys are probably pretty gassed at this point. Yeah, you can tell them where they're swinging. Alright, now let's see the result. Oh, looks like it's going to a third round. So it looks like they have one round each then, probably. That one looks like it got through to me. Yeah, both of them are blocking really nice. It looks like looks like Rourke might have got that shot through. Yeah, it looks like it flipped around. I'm not sure how clean it needs to land. If there's some defense on it, I don't know if a judge would count it as a point or not. Oh, uh, you mean like if it wraps around and hits them? If that yeah, like, count? like if they block it with the half, but it still rocks the helmet. Right. I don't know if that's going to be a point or not. I think... I think it was point. I think it was hits within our fighting style. So yeah. I don't know what they would do here. Yeah, I think it sort of depends on the judges. And I'm not... I'm Ooh, certainly not certified that's judge. That hits me hard enough, and even though I blocked it, it's a pretty good shot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I obviously didn't block it well enough. Well, there's a good clean yeah, shot. That looked, that looked good like reach on arm, that. though, didn't it? A uh, little tough to tell, but the other thing is, like, you can see, if we take a look at this, 
Rourke's done some really interesting moves, uh, really interesting movement to mask his range. So Nelson thinks he's relatively safe at this range. Rourke takes a deeper step than we see him take during most of the fight. Mm -hmm. Normally, he doesn't have his feet that wide apart. And you can see that front um, arm is yeah, all the way extended. The and the rear arm the is shoulder. also almost extended, right? So this hand could come forward just a little bit, but not much. And that big step is much further forward than we saw earlier in the fight. So I think that was just sort of caught him unready at that range. And then you see Nelson's once again changing arms. So Rourke's been fighting left-handed the whole time. Nelson keeps changing between left and right-handed. Hallmarks of exhaustion. Yeah, right there. So it looks to me like probably Rorik had that uh Rorik was also round. leaning back a lot, too. I noticed when, when you were talking about his uh, stance, he was leaning backwards a lot, too. When he was yeah. taking that big step, right before he took that big step, he was leaning back far. So it made him look like he was farther away. Cool. Well, what do you think, guys? Should we do one more, or should we call it there? Sure. Yeah. Sure, it's interesting. Let's do one more. Well, you are correct that punches are zero points, and kicks are permitted, too, but they're also zero points. Yeah, I think the kicks are tricky to land. They leave you a little exposed, but absolutely. Yeah. What about kicks hurting my knees? There's a nice shot right yeah. over the shield edge. Camera's a little tight here. I don't know that we can do anything about that. This might be a good opportunity to get your opponent down if you can. I'm not 100% certain of the rules in this. I know you get a point if your opponent goes down. I don't know if you're allowed to strike them when they're down as well. But we see this much more than with the bucklers. There's definitely wrestling going on. That's interesting. Yeah, it says grappling's allowed, but the balls are one point. It doesn't say anything about that. Yeah, I'm not sure if you're allowed to strike them when they're down for, for this particular... You know, melees you can. <laughs> well, I think in the melees, if you're down, you're out. I might be mistaken. Yeah, if you're doing the normal combat fight like five man. Too. Yeah, the boot hurt. Yeah, I'm Four not sure, five. though. Um... This one, it looked like when they were in the clinch, it didn't look to me like they were landing blows that a judge would be like, yeah, for sure, that was a great one. And it's, you can see they're both really light on their feet. They're both sort of... Um, they both are pulling their hips back, I think, to keep the legs out of range. So I'm not sure if it's Geronti on the left is, is how you pronounce it, Geronti. Um, he seems like he's a little more upright. Whereas Knight, it looks like he's trying to use range back out and score the, the shots to the top of the helm with the offside. That was a good push to create space for the shot. I like your empty's livery. Yeah, great, great heraldry. Yeah, I think each of those tags from Knight is, is enough for the judge to call because they're really clear. Well, they have little clickers in their hand, don't they? <laughs> I don't know about that. No, the judges. Oh, I thought you meant the fighters to make it sound like they'd hit their opponent. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah the counters other, for sure. Counting, yeah. Of course, yeah. I thought you were implying no, that oh, livery no, wasn't okay. helping them there. So after two rounds, knight on points. All right. So um, again, a bunch of non-ACL fighters in the room. We did our best to analyze it. Uh, so. Uh, Good job. Yeah, we, we tried. Thank you for looking up the rules. Um, if you've got any feedback or input, or if you'd like to come join the next of our reviews so that you can offer some insight, please come do. Uh, and also, thank you very much for submitting this. Uh, we're always happy to look at just about any full-speed medieval combat, so whatever organization it is, we'll do our best uh, to try to accommodate. So thanks.